In this video I'm going to show you how I've hugely reduced the heating cost of my homebrew system. Uh, so I like to do long one, two, three month cider batches and I normally used to use one of these homebrew heating belts. Now this belt is 25 watts and running for three months that uses almost uh, 10 pounds worth of electricity so it was actually almost doubling the cost of my homebrew bottles at the end of the end of the brew by just the cost of the electricity. So what I've done is I've made a new system uh, which uses much much less electricity and keeps my cost of my homebrew down and it's super simple really. So what I've got here is I've got a bucket full of water and it's wrapped in insulating foam. I just got this from the supermarket, it's really really cheap stuff. Uh, just one layer of uh, this insulating kind of foam bubble wrap stuff not wrapped all around it. And then inside I've got a low power aquarium heater with an adjustable thermostat that's set at 23 degrees at the moment but whichever temperature works for you best and that's in the water and then all I simply do is I get my homebrew demijohn place it into the bucket the water level will rise right up to about there so the, the aquarium heater is completely underwater at that point uh, and I just plug in the aquarium heater and I can uh, put this lid on it's an important lid at the top just to make sure no heat's getting out from the top it makes a complete insulating seal around the vessel and I can plug that in and the heat really just stays in the water in the bucket and keeps the homebrew warm um, and it uses hardly any power at all the, the actual aquarium heater is on I barely ever see it on and it just keeps the, um, the water nice and warm and it's using Oh, I can't really measure it, but it's using very little amount of electricity, much, much less than this thing did, and really saving me some cost. Well, I hope that helped. Um, happy brewing, YouTube.